in a literal sense that can be entirely substantiated uh, neurologically. The right hemisphere knows, takes in, attends more, judges better, perceives better, um, and is more in touch with reality effectively than the left hemisphere. Interestingly, in the pop psychology, the version of things is that the left hemisphere is um, is this rather boring accountant-like figure that um, is at least reliable, uh, whereas the right hemisphere tends to be a bit uh, temperamental, a bit pink and fluffy, very creative, but needs anchoring by that good, solid left hemisphere. Well, it turns out that's not the case at all. It turns out that in every respect, the right hemisphere is more reliable, more down to earth, more, well, it might be like this, but it might be like that. Ramachandran calls it the devil's advocate. In other words, it's the one that is able to see there might be another way of seeing this, where the left hemisphere, once it's stuck on an idea, is absolutely stuck with that idea. Okay. So we get people who, who, who are, you know, very much um, fixed in a worldview in which they think they know everything because they don't know very much. And they can't be dislodged from it. That's a worry. If I was listening to this podcast and I've just switched on, why, why, why does this matter? Why should I care? Well, you come across it every day in the way in which things are more and more bureaucratized. Essentially, the left hemisphere way of thinking is bureaucratic mentality. And so just trying to do something that has a human element to it is increasingly difficult because it has to follow a flow diagram and it has to fit in the boxes. Sometimes having conversations with people over the telephone when something goes wrong, most people will have this experience. So you need to talk to your bank or to the telephone company or somebody else. They've got a script they're working from in which the actual individual circumstances you're in don't actually fit this and they're not answering your point because there's no enmeshing of these two. That's very simple. But on a much bigger level, what it means is that we think we know how to do things, but in fact, in doing what we think is the logical thing, we make things worse. So it looks logical to go into the Gulf and stabilize uh, a situation that appears incendiary. In fact, what we do is massively destabilize. We think we could control the stock markets. Many Nobel Prize winning economists thought this so that there will never be another crash. As soon as they'd made these um, somewhat hubristic pronouncements, there was an almighty crash. We protect children from danger and we make them vulnerable. We, uh, we think that the only way to educate a child is to put lots of information into them and by doing that, we actually drive out the independence of thinking, which is the point of education in itself. We protect ourselves from germs because it looks logical and make ourselves so vulnerable that we're, const we're constantly falling ill. So, I mean, these are just simple examples in daily life of how a kind of apparently rational way of thinking that just sees one little thing and goes for it leaves out all the complexity of the big picture, which you really ought to take into account if you're going to understand how to behave as a rational person. Mm -hmm.